hello, welcome to the link uh, 2018. We are going to talk about the treatment of wide neck bifurcation aneurysm with the pulse rider. Uh, I am Francis Turgeman from Lyon and I am in company of uh, Salvatore Mangiafico from Firenze and we'll have this debate together. First, Salvatore, I want to know uh, what you think, what, what do you, how do you define wide neck aneurysm? Yes, uh, this is a classical uh, definition. Is wide neck aneurysm an aneurysm who has the neck larger than four millimeters, but it depends uh, on the volume of the sac. But uh, very large aneurysm with a wide neck are until eight, nine millimeters sometimes. And uh, in bifurcation, this is important that every time there is a wide neck, there is a changing in morphological configuration of the neck. So this is uh, important when we deal about uh, bifurcational aneurysm. So there are many options to treat them. And uh, Pusrider is one of these, but there are other possibilities in your opinion, which is the, the, the best way to treat. Absolutely, uh, you're right. We have uh, many options now. Uh, we have known devices, uh, we use uh, Y stenting or T stenting or uh, different types of uh, devices, but um, we think that specific devices like Pulse Rider are the best option to treat this kind of aneurysm. So they are designed to treat bifurcation aneurysm. Yes, in fact, uh, this is uh, designed according to the bifurcation profile. We have two kinds of uh, bifurcation. One is uh, Y bifurcation and the other is T bifurcation. And uh, the device has two configurations just to adapt uh, itself to the bifurcation. Uh, there are some uh, five, uh, six leaflets in uh, the mo uh, model now uh, that we use and they may be placed inside the aneurysm or, you know, inside the, the, the bifurcation itself. So it's uh, very useful to know how to use it, but uh, we need also evidence. The problem is that it's a new device and we need to have evidence. Have you any special idea about the risk of treatment and evidence about this point? Yeah, we, we already have some, uh, some data. We, we have some publications and uh, there was a US study answer and there was a publication in Europe. Uh, the results are more or less the same. So we know that we may have complications. The rate is about 5% of morbid mortality, which is still uh, high, but uh, we address very difficult aneurysm with wide neck and uh, large aneurysm. So we may expect some, uh, some difficult cases. Uh, and we have uh, good efficacy, uh, about 87, 90%. And the, the occlusion of the aneurysm is uh, uh, progressing with time. So we have a progression and meaning that uh, somehow the, the device will uh, act to uh, change the flow, to modulate the flow inside the aneurysm. In effect, about the complication rate, it's important to say that we are in a learning curve at the beginning. It's sure. a very new device. I know you are, you are especially uh, concerned with this kind of complication. Do you think that uh, low metal density of the device is important for us? Yes, really, this is a great point uh, in favor of uh, Pulse Rider because uh, it has very low density of metal compared with white stenting. So it means that it's necessary to have uh, less uh, antiplatelet uh, regimen. It means probably two months are sufficient and uh, it's an uh, advantage for the patient. Nevertheless, there is uh, also the possibility that we have loss, uh, uh, minor uh, grade of uh, hyperplasia, intimal hyperplasia. And this is uh, another point in favor of post right. The problem uh, is how select uh, the patient. When we have uh, uh, a kind of aneurysm, with, uh, which, which is the indication to use? Uh, uh, at the beginning, we had difficulties to understand. Which is your opinion? So we, I, I told you, mostly agreed on the indication. We said that uh, we want to treat wide neck aneurysm, and the maximum neck is probably eight, and uh, we want to treat. Uh, you said medium to uh, large aneurysm. I, I will go even further and treat a large aneurysm. So wide neck, large aneurysm, and uh, as you showed in your presentation, I think that the axis 
of the aneurysm is okay, so we can play a little bit with the device to protect the neck. Uh, I want to ask you, how do you select the device? How do you, uh, what are your... Uh, this is uh, really important uh, to know the uh, wide neck, how long is the neck, how wide, and uh, the parent vessel artery, because we are two measures. One is uh, the uh, dimension of the arch, that is much be greater than the neck, of course, and one is uh, the measure of the parent artery to have a good fixation of, of the device to the parent artery, but it's not, it's very easy to use. It's, not, it's, not, it's not difficult to find the right... What do you say about this Y and T shapes? Uh, uh, it depends on the configuration of, of uh, bifurcation. If uh, basilar tip is a T configuration, carotid uh, is uh, another T configuration, but middle cerebral artery sometimes uh, is uh, Y configuration. So you have adapted the device to the kind of configuration of the bifurcation. If, if you want to suggest uh, a colleague to start, so we know that there is not so, you, you have to study well the aneurysm, you have to understand some particular, but which kind of aneurysm do you suggest for first, as first treatment? Uh, probably, you know, I'm cautious. I try to be uh, on the safe side. So probably not go to a very difficult aneurysm, which is aneurysm with a neck like four, five, six maximum. And uh, probably for the first case to, to have the axis of the aneurysm, uh, like the axis of the vessel. So will be no angulation and it's easier to place. And uh, uh, not too small aneurysm because we you, you want to, to uh, understand how the, the, the pulse rider will react when you, you, you push it out of the, of the catheter. So, not too difficult. Not too difficult, but uh, it's important to select what the aneurysm. I agree with you. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye, -bye.